Hey guys, so today I just wanted to go over some Zig stuff using Zig as a build tool for C and then incorporating C into Zig. And some of the motivation behind this is a lot of the, the craziness with the Rust Foundation that happened recently. And I'll, I'll preface this, uh, this little rant with this is wholeheartedly and gladly not supported by the Rust Foundation. Um, I think what they did was bad, but I think it was not necessarily a one-off thing or a, a cause of any badness, but a symptom of where we're at with programming and stuff in that you have programmers, then you have people that want to be affiliated with programming and kind of siphon off some of the... Um, I don't want to act like programmers are superstars, but you know, there's a lot of attention. There's a lot of hype around it There's a lot of profit especially to be made and I feel like those Slightly technical but not fully technical people want to grasp at some power and to me at least it seems like that's what the Russ foundation is at its core and this power grab which I think it, it can't really be described as anything else is just very indicative of that. Um, and my two cents, um, without getting too high on this soapbox, is that they created this very restrictive like trademark system where essentially anyone making any Rust content, writing any Rust code is borderline in violation of it. And I think the reason being is then they can kind of control you. They can decide who they like, who they don't like, and it just gives them more power over the language, even though they're not the ones writing it. That being said, I was having some conversations with some friends about, you know, should you use Rust? Should you go back to C, C++? And one of my friends who's a software engineer back in New York was telling me that he was going to try to learn C++. He was going to learn Rust and now he didn't want to anymore. He was going to do C. One of the things he noted is that the build system was a nightmare, trying to get it up and running. You don't just have to learn C, but you have to learn Make or CMake or Ninja. You have to learn all these things. You told him, like, yeah, you know, if Rust was just a build tool and a dependency manager for C and C++, it would still be revolutionary. And then I realized that that is in some way what Zig is. It's not really a dependency manager, but it's a much easier build tool, and it's a much better, in my opinion, language than C++ and it allows you to interop between C, C++ a little bit, and the language Zig much better than any other language I've seen. And that got me thinking, you know, Rust is a little, um, you know, kind of persona non grata right now in the open source community. I want to explore Zig a little bit. I was looking at it before I was looking at Rust, but I thought, you know, this is something for people that are really smart. You know, I'm... I think I'm a smart enough guy, but I don't think I'm like, you know, manual memory management with no guardrails smart. Then I started looking at it. I really liked uh, how simple it was and some of the philosophies behind the language design. And that's kind of the inspiration for today's video. And that's my rant in its entirety. So here I've got my C folder and I've got my Zig folder and I've laid them out similarly with this TUI project. And this TUI project is just using end curses. So if I go into my build.zig, you can see here I have a builder. I have an executable target mode. It's all um, pretty basic run-of-the-mill stuff from their documentation. I haven't added anything revolutionary. I'm building a TUI executable from source main. I've added the path lib. I'm linking C and N curses, and I'm building everything. And then if I go into lib, I have a file funks.c where I just do a hello world with N curses. If I go back into my source, I've got a main.c where I just run that. And if I go here and I do zig build, there we go. It built it, it linked it. So I can run from zig out, tui, hello from another directory. And one of the things I really liked about this, uh, 
using the build.zig is it just made everything really simple. I remember I took a like one credit C course in university and we used, I think it was Genie or um, C, it wasn't C make, it was some like novel C IDE that I liked, but you just clicked build in the GUI and it built it and you didn't really see what was going on behind the scenes and you know, I was more worried about my other classes and just getting a grade, so I didn't look too into it, but after the course I tried to do some little C projects and the hardest part was building it, like linking files and stuff, and I could just put that func file in the source directory and it would know to look there, it would build it, but just the ease of having files in other directories, for instance here in lib, I really like the simplicity of it. I like that this is its own programming language. I'm not writing something that I have no use for or that is only a, a one-use, one-trick pony thing like make or cmake. I'm writing pure zig that builds my C code. And this is a great way to learn C, I'd say, if you're learning it, uh, because you learn a build tool and a language at the same time. And if I go out here and I go into the zig folder, you'll see how similar it is Whoop. Let me see to that C code and how you can really just use pure C. I don't think it does the same thing with uh, C++. You can use pure C in zig pretty seamlessly. So here, same thing, more or less. Um, I have n curses, I have C. Um, I've got the main folder here. I didn't break it up by directory just because Zig is, it's more intuitive to build Zig code. I think the novelty is in using Zig to build C code across directories. So here if I come, I have a cursive. I have cursive.h included in the C import. And here the only difference is you have to deal with these returns and you can just throw them away. You can write wrapper functions. Um, you could build out a wrapper library of end curses if you wanted to, but at the end of the day, you have more or less seamless integration. And if I run this, I should get the same thing. Hello from Zig. Super quick video today. Sorry my programming content has been a little bit um, sparse lately. I've been put on a project, working a lot, you know, really wanted to talk about this Zig stuff. Got a little bit of that uh, serotonin dopamine after my coffee, so decided to take a little 10 minute coffee break, record this. Uh, I'll hope to do more in-depth C stuff, something a little, or C and Zig stuff, not just a superficial build video, but just kind of a taste of what to come, letting you guys know what I'm playing with right now. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.